Hi and welcome to a new tutorial from TradingShenzhen.com. I would like to show you how to unlock a device, which is really important to install a custom firmware or maybe to flash a global firmware on a device, which is Chinese. We do it the official and the easiest way with the Mi Unlock tool from Xiaomi. And it doesn't matter if you have a Mi 11 Ultra or you have a Mi 10 or a Redmi device. We do it in this tutorial with a Mi Pad Pro, but it works with every device from Xiaomi. The first thing we need is a Xiaomi account. You can go on account.xiaomi.com and sign up for a new account. It's pretty easy and we recommend it to do it on the desktop, but of course you can do it also on the smartphone. It's pretty easy. You just need your email and the password and then you can sign in. When you are signed in, we really recommend to put in a recovery phone because a Xiaomi account is really hard linked to your account and the device. So when you lose the password of the account, you can't get into the device. You have to send it in. You have to send it to China, to Xiaomi. So therefore, enter your recovery phone. And when you lost your password, you can, you know, restore it with your phone number. So the next thing is we have to bind the account to the device. We go on the device and there we click on settings. If, when we are in the settings, usually at the top you see a notification which shows you please log into your Mi account or you go a little bit more down and click on Mi account and you log in with your login data to the account. There you see the Xiaomi Cloud, account security and everything. To bind the account, we have to activate the developer settings. Therefore, we click on my device usually at the top. We click on all specifications and we click more times on the MyY versions. You see a small notification which shows you like only one, two steps further and then you have activated the developer options. Then we go on the left side a little bit more down to additional settings. We click on additional settings and we see now developer options. And when you scroll a little bit down, you see the Me Unlock status. We click on this and at the bottom you can add the account and the device. Now they are binded when you click it and it's approved. Right now the situation is like this. You have to be binded for 7 days or for 14 days. It depends on your account. You don't have to use the device. You can put it aside. You can also extract your SIM cards from it. Uh, use it and make a backup afterwards. And after the new flash of a firmware you can, you know, like restore the backup. But it has to be signed it and binded by 7 or 14 days. After this you can start with the unlock process. And it's pretty simple. We boot into the fast boot. This is done by pressing and holding the power button and the volume button down as long as the device reboots and boots you into the fast boot menu. You see it when you see the My2. Now we connect it to the PC and switch to the unlock tool started and usually you have to sign in at the bottom. You have to sign it with the same account you have on your device. They have to be both the same accounts. Then we click just easy on unlock and the unlock process starts. Usually this takes three to five minutes. Your device reboots again and you see at the top an lock symbol which is now open so you know the device is unlocked and it boots into the system where you see this screen. This shows you only that you have to activate the account again. When you have a device with a SIM card you can click on the top button. When you don't have one and you need internet connection, you click on the bottom button. These are the Wi-Fi settings. You log into your Wi-Fi network, then you go back and you click on the top button, enter all your Mi account settings and the device will be unlocked again. Now the device is finally unlocked and activated again and you can install any firmware which you like. You can install a global firmware or a Xiaomi U. From this point it's pretty easy to install a, a custom firmware on the device. Of course the Mi account doesn't have to be all the time on the device. You can log out from the Mi account and sell it but the device will stay still unlocked. And please don't try to lock the device again because this will usually break the device. I hope this tutorial could help you a little bit and show you how to unlock a device, which is pretty easy. And if you have any questions, just leave us some comments. And if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Thanks, your Trading Shenzhen team.